We believe that natural gas combined with carbon mitigation technologies will continue to play a very primary and important role in North American power markets, delivering safe, reliable and affordable electricity. And we're actively pursuing and investing in decarbonization technologies to make it all possible. Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5 by 5 I'm Rachel Gregory, and I'm here with Kate Chisholm, Capital Powers Senior Vice President, Planning, Stakeholder Relations, and Chief Sustainability Officer. Capital Power is an organization committed to powering a low-carbon future. So, Kate, net carbon neutral by 2050. What does this mean to Capital Power, and how does Capital Power get there? Thanks for that question, Rachel. In 2020, we developed a whole roadmap to 2050 to outline the steps we'll be following towards decarbonization. They include being off coal in 2023, we're powering our coal units with the newest, most efficient combined cycle technology, investing in renewables and strategic natural gas generation with either carbon capture usage and storage or hydrogen. And eventually, we're now playing with direct air capture that we hope we'll be able to use beyond sequestration to drive us further towards the goal to be net carbon neutral in 2050. And we're actively pursuing and investing in decarbonization technologies to make it all possible. So how are ESG investors, that's environment, social and governance, influencing low carbon investment? Investors are increasingly focused on the potential impact of systemic risks like climate change, energy poverty and others on their investments. And those systemic risks can only be managed by a thoughtful sustainability strategy. We share the perspective of ESG investors in respect of systemic risks, and we assess all of our risks and opportunities through a sustainability lens. So we take our carbon emissions target as an example. We're committed to reducing our emission intensity by 65% by 2030 from 2005, in spite of ambitions to grow significantly. Capital Power just released their second integrated annual report and third climate change disclosure. Why is thorough and transparent reporting important for Capital Power? There is a whole alphabet soup of ESG reporting standards out there at the moment, as well as an absolute army of ESG analysts all applying different lenses. And what this means is that companies can cherry pick the standards and analysts that will make them look the best which makes it very, very difficult for investors to make informed decisions based on apples to apples comparisons. For our small part, we would look forward to being compared on an apples to apples basis with our competitors. We're committed for that purpose to transparently sharing comprehensive, accurate and detailed data so that investors and potential investors can see all of our financial and ESG performance together. How has a stronger focus on sustainability improved long-term decision-making and long-term value at Capital Power? We understand that our shareholders don't want to earn their return at a cost to society. We also believe that helping society to solve some of its problems will make us more attractive to consumers who are increasingly factoring ESG considerations into their buying decisions. We all see sustainability as being a fundamental part of the Capital Power story. What is Capital Power doing to support diversity, inclusion, and equity, and why is it important? We see EDI as a total business imperative. It's the only way to ensure that we have the very best people on our team. In 2017, we formalized a commitment to achieving 30% female representation on our executive team, which we've now achieved with 43% of our executive team and 40% of our board of directors all being women. We then added a requirement to have diverse candidates in the shortlist for every open position at all levels of the organization. I'm proud to report that we met this objective throughout 2020. For 2021, we've added an additional commitment to increase the number of female hires we make. We also joined Equal by 30, a global campaign committed to working towards equal pay, equal leadership, and equal opportunities for women in the clean energy sector by 2030. Congratulations on that initiative. It's very inspiring, and it's so great to hear that companies like Capital Power are working towards uh, equal pay and equity and inclusiveness within the organization. So thank you so much, Kate, for sharing Capital Power's story, your mission, and what you're striving towards. It was great chatting with you. Thank you very much for your time and your good questions, Rachel.